guys. Welcome back to another episode of Farming Valley with Haley. And yes, this is another episode. Uh, gosh, I've got you guys feedback on my questions from last time. And it's good to say that I think I'm going to continue on for sure. Uh, it looked like the disconnect issue was related to the immersive engineering book. So we're going to go ahead and put that away. Uh, since we don't need that anymore. We have finished the excavator, which was the achievement for the book. Actually, let me put this away and I should mark that off while I'm over there. So don't need that anymore. Don't need that. Don't need that. Anything immersive engineering all in this chest. All right, let's go ahead. Um, let me check the book. I need to remove some death points as well. All right, so it's uh, pretty much midday. I've been doing a little, little off camera work, trying to make sure my animals were taken care of. Let's go ahead and check the achievement book. And oh, I did mark it off. Yes, set up an excavator multi block using immersive engineering. Done. Thank goodness. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to uh, go back to what we we're looking at with some forestry stuff. Now, there's only two uh, quests in here for forestry is build a forestry multi block farm and, oh, three quests, sorry, drink some short meat from forestry and breed two bees together from using forestry. Um, I have been reading you guys' comments. Somebody suggested that I go back and watch Snoop's Bee Happy videos. He's got a lot of them. <laughs> so <laughs> I am going to go back and watch that. Actually, that pack looks pretty cool. I might consider doing that a little bit later, but uh, that's uh, neither here nor there. Let me go ahead and remove these death points. Uh, let's see. Get these. Remove. I got killed a lot. <laughs> remove, 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 and remove. Okay. So I got rid of the death points. Now, I have to remember where I left off in forestry. I made the apiary, so that's pretty good. So I did watch a couple of videos on how to do forestry. There's still some things I'm not 100% sure on. Uh, for example, okay, so the bee house, we made apiary, crafted in the carpenter, requires seed oil. Okay, so seed oil, uh, let's read my notes there. Seed oil is made with a squeezer. So let's see if we can find the recipe for a squeezer and maybe we can get that up and going. Squeezer. Uh, squeezer is made from tin, which I can buy from uh, our guy, two pieces of glass, and a sturdy casing. So I think it's a blacksmith open. Oh, it might not be open. It's four, almost four o'clock. It was past four o'clock. Okay, he opens at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, 10 to 4 tomorrow. We're going to go get the, those ingredients. So we need the tin, we need a sturdy casing, and a couple pieces of glass. Uh, let's see if there's anything else particular that we need blacksmith blacksmith okay so we'll get the squeezer mate now there was another thing that i saw uh before we go ahead and sleep because i don't think there's anything i need to worry about today uh a clockwork engine says it makes power this is from forestry so like i said i've been doing my homework let's see clock work engine is that even a thing in here it doesn't look like it's a thing. It's like a clock from Harvest Festival. Ooh, clockmaker. Um, a blueprint clockmaker. What is all this stuff from the, for, uh, from the, oh, clockwork engine. Okay. Um, it's there. <laughs> See this little box there? It's trying to hide from me. Uh, generate small amount of RF, right click to wound up. Can I even make that? Uh, it's not letting me click on it. So I'm guessing it's been disabled since the fact I can't even see it. Uh, let's go ahead and go into the forestry mod and look at some things here. Uh, let's see. Is there anything going on? Can you guys hear my sounds? Cause I'm, I'm having issues with sounds. There we go. Make sure the door is up. All right. So six o'clock at night. Um, let me go inside. Cause I don't want to be woken up by, or being popped in the head by any zombies while we're looking up stuff. So I was going to look at the forestry mod. So, uh, Oh, poultry farm. Do I have a poultry farm? Can be bought at the poultry. Oh, I think it's a chicken lady. Okay. Can't be used for crops. Okay. So this is kind of weird. This is an achievement. They want us to make the farm uh, from forestry, but you can't use it to farm anything. <laughs> Kian, what are you even doing in this mod pack? Okay. Anyway, we're going to make that. So I think uh, I got the recipe for that. It's supposed to be a three by three by three, but four tall, three by three by four, something like that. And it requires um, three other blocks. <laughs> I can't remember. Farm blocks. Okay. So you can make them out of pretty much anything. Um, the farm gearbox. I don't remember that being an option. The farm hatch. I remember that was something. Okay. So I can make that with a tin gear, which tin and copper. So... Wait a minute. 
Okay, I can buy copper good. See, I can I like I can buy a lot of stuff now because I actually have money <laughs> from my from my uh my thing. So let's um let's focus. Let's focus. So we're gonna get a squeezer made. So we need to go buy some ten ingots and we need to buy a sturdy casing. So we're gonna do that. Uh, sleep through the night. Okay, so we are at 153,000 gold. It's not raining today, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and water what little crops we have. Uh, remember, you don't need to water the grass. So good there. Just water the hemp seeds. Oh, wait, who's, who's shooting me? It's too many skeletons. Oh, somebody also had mentioned I need to make. Oh, gosh, go back and find that comment. Let me go ahead and get these eggplants. But there is a. A light source. They said they might actually help with these mobs that I'm having. Uh, I know I've got what was that? It was some kind of torch. I'm gonna go back and read your comments, and I want to give you credit for giving a shout out on it. Okay, I think I'm safe up here. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up my comments again. I know I'm such a professional over here. Um, it was a, uh, I think it was Donnie that mentioned it. Um, maybe, maybe not. I'm sorry. Uh, so do -do -do -do. You guys have been doing so awesome and giving me comments um, and giving me ideas of what to do. Oh gosh, I gotta find it. <laughs> powered lamps. That was from Donnie. Thank you, Donnie, for the for the comment on it. So we may look at to make some powered lamps that should help with the uh, mob issue because uh, torches apparently are not working since they kind of knock them over. So we'll look into making some pirate lamps here and just uh, probably towards the end of the episode, I might do it in between episodes. So again, thank you, Donnie, for that suggestion. We're going to see if that helps, uh, especially since I'm expanding out my area pretty well. I mean, see, I don't want to break these crops. I already broke. <laughs> I, I mean, feel feels silly in doing this. You know, I broke... Uh, Remember, guys, when I spurt the water and ended up breaking all of the crops over there, I have to be careful with my right click and my left click because my fingers just want to always pound the buttons. And I accidentally knocked out a few, um, just one sweet potato right here. See, this little crop here is gone. But we're midway through the autumn, so I'm not going to be as worried about it. Uh, let's get these eggplants while we wait for the blacksmith to open. He opens at 10 o'clock. And what are we trying to buy? We need to buy some 10 ingots and a sturdy bronze casing or some kind of sturdy casing. So we can get a squeezer made. And um, we'll see if we can get some seed oil going because we need the seed oil in order for the... What was, what was trying to make? We need the seed oil for the apiary. So we have the apiary over there, um, which is supposed to be used to breed two bees together. Um, there's still some things I'm not sure about the bees. I remember that, um, oh gosh, it's been so long since this person commented, but they said something about you need flowers around the apiary in order for, um, I guess the bees to be happy. I don't know. Uh, I know that bees require certain, um, certain environmental aspects in order to do what they need to do there's <laughs> a lot of good things uh also you need to make the uh the armor there's an apiary type armor that helps prevent your bees from giving you negative effects so there's some you know i thought it was kind of a stinging action but some bees just from being around them they give you a certain effect i think it's all the eggplants and now he should be open all right let's go ahead and sell this Eggplants give us a lot of gold. We'll get our eggs and our milk here a little bit later. Uh, we just want to make sure we're getting everything we need for today. Sell, sell, sell. All right, so let's go ahead and go visit Mr. Blacksmith. And since I still haven't removed inventory tweaks, I'm being very cautious when I buy stuff from Mr. Denaro and just popping it in there. Oh, you can also tell it is Christmas Eve in case you didn't, didn't know from my recording because of all the little chests here. So Merry Christmas for all of you that celebrate Christmas. Uh, it is a very special holiday for me. I'm going to spend time with my family and eat lots of food. So I'm going to be doing that tomorrow, but today is Christmas Eve. So I wanted to get this video out and... Uh, to then uh, let you guys know that I am going to continue this series. I'm so excited that I can. Uh, the crashing was, again, like I said, was only related to immersive engineering. So we should be good to go and work through some other achievements. Let's go ahead and shop. Uh, we're going to get, I think it was six tin ingots we needed. Where is the tin? Aluminum, we don't hit the bottom. There we go. Ten ingots. So let's get six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. Buy a sturdy casing. Ooh, 20,000. Let's pack a punch. 
okay, that's all right. We still got over 100,000 gold. And um, it was some other things that, I don't know if it was from the blacksmith, but those far oh, they're still from the poultry farm. The farm, the chicken lady is what we're going to do. So we'll probably do that after we get this all set up. Let's go get two pieces of glass. Do I have glass already made? Um, go ahead and shut the door. I'm gonna let him keep my tools for just now because I don't need to worry about them. Um, let's see, if I have a glass, it should be in one of these chests. No, I got sand, but no glass. Oh, it's a book. Okay, I have to have okay, harvest crap. Uh, let's double check here. Yeah, that's just dirt and that's just cobble. Plenty of dirt, plenty of cobble. Can't do anything with it. <laughs> Well, I could, but I'm not going to. All right, let's go ahead and toss this in here. Okay, I need to take some coal out of there. Two pieces of glass coming up, and we're going to get a squeezer so we can actually play with our apiary. Now, I don't know if this actually requires it because there's not a little thing over here that says it needs um, juice. Maybe I was watching another video. It's quite possible. Uh, owner of bees need flowers. I got flowers right there. This is a good question. Uh, no queen. I got a queen. Um, no, I don't. Okay. Let me go look and see what I got. Because right. I remember the apiary is supposed to be used to breed bees. And you get... Uh, wait a minute. What's this? I got a centrifuge. Okay. What's a centrifuge for? Uh, let's see. I know the centrifuge needs power. What are you for? What do you, what do you do? Uh, oh, the centrifuge is think is what's going to use on the honeycombs. I wish there was a book in here <laughs> that kind of tells you what to go through. I mean, I'm reading that. Okay, backpack. I need that. Uh, Apiary's chest. Part, okay, how do you get the combs? Ah, that's what the centrifuge is for. Okay, so. Uh, that's how you get the combs. How do you get that? Crate. Uh, I don't know. So much stuff in here, and this all I need to do is do two, two different things. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. Oh, give me my glass. All right, well, we're gonna make the squeezer. I may not need it, um, because the there was a thing on the side, but it's not there anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and get this and this and this. So we're, we got the squeezer. And we got a carpenter, or what is this thing called? Uh, a, a centrifuge and an apiary. We got all that fun stuff. Do I have anything else over here? Got my capacitor. Oh, wow, this capacitor bank's actually filling up with a lot of power now. Uh, what is that? 353,000 out of 4 million. Oh, we got a ways to go. All right, so let's, um, let's just set this down for right now. So how do these things work? <laughs> um bees it says for me to breed two bees i know i put a queen in with something else now i want to just take a i have queens i thought i had a queen in here um uh, princess honeycomb valiant princess pristine stock drones drone oh there's a modest queen okay so if i take this modest queen okay now that says it's an unknown genome i know there's a lot of things i need to do there was another thing on how to identify bees oh gosh uh what's that stupid thing called it's uh a portal analyzer some kind of it's not well not a portable one but it's an analyzer wait a minute, can i make this maybe okay so oh, i gotta buy some more 10 ingots two redstones and a diamond i think i have those downstairs with some water in the carpentry so two buckets of water Let's try this. Okay. Let's try this. So put two buckets of water in the... Wait, do I have a carpentry? Did I not make a carpentry? Let's go back again. I didn't make a carpenter. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> All right. So we need six bronze ingots, two more pieces of glass, and a sturdy casing. Do I, I could have sworn I made a carpenter. Go back and check. There's no carpenter up there. What was I doing? Okay. The blacksmith still open for... Oh, he just closed. Dang it. And he's not open tomorrow. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, he's not open. On, he's open on Fridays. All right. I'll tell you what we'll go ahead and do. Let's um, let's go ahead and take care of our animals. Uh, we'll sleep for a couple of days. And then we'll um, hopefully be able to make 
that other item that we need. Let me get these eggs and we'll milk our cows. I've already brushed them in between episodes. So again, I'm not worried about trying to brush them every day as long as, um, as long as they're healthy, but I will give them treats every day and make sure that they have food. Now, I should be getting a uh, missing an egg. Oh, there it is. I thought I had 10 eggs. All right, let's put that up and we'll go ahead and uh, we'll pet everybody. Oh, treats, that's what I was gonna do. And I know we are almost at the end of this episode and I feel like I haven't done very much, but I'm, I've still got a lot of videos to watch, a lot of homework to do, um, just in getting everything set up. So since I forgot to get the carpenter, um, let me go ahead and uh, cook up two more pieces of glass while we're, we're going through. Oh, do I have glass in here? <laughs> okay, I got sand in there. Um, do I have wood in here? Nope, if not, I got my axe. Oh, I didn't put my axe up. <laughs> got lucky on that. All right, so we got wood. Let's turn this into planks. And we'll let that cook up. Let's get that and we'll just, you know what? Let's just make 18 pieces of glass. I don't know if I need 18 pieces of glass, but we're getting that. Uh, I need to sell my milk and the eggs. And we're gonna spend another $20,000 to buy a carpenter. I can't believe I didn't do that right. <laughs> Sorry, um, but that's all right. Cause we sold a bunch of eggplants. So we should have some cool stuff. Let's sleep. We gotta sleep a couple days. Um, We'll sleep one day. I know I need to harvest all my crops because uh, I think the sweet taters, those sweet tomatoes, whatever, the sweet potatoes, <laughs> they should be ready uh, for what's my watering can. I put my watering can over here with the blacksmith. Denaru, can I have my watering can back, please? Just, oh, okay. hi. Okay. Yeah, put that in there. And I'm going to take my sword just in case because it's still dark enough outside where these little critters like to spawn all right so we're gonna do this for one day then we're gonna sleep again and then we should be able to buy some stuff from mr dinero we are running very close to being out of time right now uh so i'm gonna actually be as quick as i can uh we're day 19 i don't need to fill up my watering stuff <sighs> okay let's let's rush 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 come on let's we can get this <laughs> The episode may be a little bit longer than what I I would like, but I need to sleep one more day. And then we got to wait uh, for Mr. Blacksmith to open up, which takes about four minutes because he opens at 10 o'clock. And okay, let's see. Come on, we can do this, which means we're probably not going to check on our animals today. But I do, just want to get these crops harvested because I don't want to miss any. This is where the most of the money is coming from. This is the money maker is all of our crops. Oh, I hear a zombie. Where are you? On the other side of the fence? Okay, as long as you're on the other side of the fence, we are cool. Uh, don't want a creeper to sneak up on me. All right. Come on, let's get the rest of these. And then we can sleep. I'm not going to worry about the the, the farm. Uh, we'll save that towards the end. Like I said, there's a multi-block structure, and I want to make sure that I understand it um like i said the recipe that i got uh, according to the internet is a three by three by four and i'm again i'm watching snoop's videos but it's just i'm on like episode three <laughs> so <laughs> of course he hasn't made the farm yet but we'll get into that um and like i said I, after watching this um it kind of makes me want to do a series like that just to learn more about bees um you know i learned a lot about Batania and doing some series immersive engineering i've learned a lot about uh so hopefully um maybe i'll learn a series about bees and forestry because it seems like a really cool mod just to be able to do some stuff okay sweet potatoes perfect all right let's go ahead and sell these sweet potatoes and we'll see if we can sleep one more night uh let's talk look it up there get up there there we go all those sweet potatoes being sold now let's see are there any eggs that have already been hatched i know i said i wasn't going to check on the animals but the eggs are already here so i lied yes i did lie i'm sorry oh gosh i want to get i wanted to get this um squeezer done but we might have to do it in the next episode because we are really at the end and i don't want to go that far over and I hate to leave you guys on a cliffhanger, but you know what? That just means uh, more reason for you guys to come back and enjoy. Uh, let's sleep. Oh, get back here, chicken. Yeah. Don't you try to sneak out of here. Oh, get, you. Hey, are you in there? Come here. 
What are you doing? Oops. Oh, you stay in there. Chickens, what are you doing? Get inside. Stay. Here. There we go. Okay. Chickens, stay inside. All right. Let me sell the eggs and the milk. Okay. So we should be at a, over $150,000 tomorrow. Let's sleep. And uh, we'll check out one more thing because I know I won't have enough time to make the squeezer since he wasn't open today. But we can look at uh, the poultry poultry chick to see how much our farm blocks are because uh, we got to make that. So that way in between episodes, I can come back and uh, do our animals for today. Now she opens at the butt crack of dawn, 5 a.m. Monday through Saturday. Foxy's file. Is that you? Uh, chickens provide essentials. Yes. Shop. Ah, oh, there we go. $2,000 eaten. Excuse me. <coughs> I never realized I squeal when I said that. But anyway, yes, $2,000 for a block. Wow. That is uh, insane. And oh my gosh. All right. So we are going to be buying. Um, oh gosh. Let's see. Three by three by three is 27. 27 times two is 54. 54,000, maybe. I may be off in some blocks because there's some other blocks I'm not sure what I need. But, but I, I, whew, okay. <laughs> that's a lot of money. <laughs> All right, well, we'll get into that uh, in the next episode or two. But right now, I do want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching. I hope you are enjoying the episode and are enjoying the series. We are going to continue on and get through these forestry achievements. Let's see, make sure there's only three in here that I need it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, tips, tricks, techniques, or just want to say hi, leave that comment down below. You guys' comments are what's keeping me going. So continue please i love you guys comments it's it's so helpful especially when i don't know what i'm doing so ah we will continue on uh if you're new to my channel feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button i've um, got a lot of new subscribers recently and it's because of those guys you guys and your viewers i am just doing this i'm loving doing this i love interacting with you guys and just chatting oh wait i don't do any farm things today yay okay um but yeah, so if you're um if you're interested in a server to play on with your friends, you know, since there's a lot of stuff to do in a pack like this, you may want to consider spreading out the detail. Get you know, get a server with Aim to Game. Aim to Game offers excellent hosting services. And I'm not just saying that because you know I'm a squad member and everything. I use Aim to Game for all of the servers I play on with my friends. Even before I started recording, we were using Aim to Game, and it's because they are amazing. So check them out below. We have some cute excuse me coupon codes to help save you some money we have a coupon code that is for uh like a one month trial you know not sure if you want to do go ahead and try a server for half off or if you know that you want to go ahead and do it get a lifetime coupon code that would save you some money over the time and use those links down below that way they know that you came from the squad because you know squad people squad viewers they're awesome anyway, anyway moving on uh if you're um be sure to follow me over on twitter and twitch to be notified when i go live we do stream live on the weekends fridays and saturdays and then on sundays i just stream kind of hanging out with some friends but uh, the saturday streams is what's most popular we actually stream live over on the squad pack mod pack uh, on the Patreon server, if you're interested in in record, not recording, but hanging out with us on the server while we record, or just hanging out with us in the Discord, check out my Patreon link down below. It's got all the information of what you need to do to in order to enjoy those perks. We have uh, perks for all kind of you know levels of people that want to support us, and you know no pressure or anything it is coming up on the end of the month so uh if you want to come in the 2018 starting with a bang and hang out with the squad show us some love be sure to do that by clicking on that link anyway you guys are awesome as always uh we got a lot of stuff to do in forestry i'm glad that i can continue on this pack with you guys and um we'll have to do that in between episodes so until next time guys i will talk to you all later have a good one guys bye <laughs>